I mean, I haven't experienced anything like that in so long. He's probably in there like, whoa. I just need something. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm legit shaking right now. I'm basically making half of a bagel, running out the door. I lost track of time this morning, but I have my gestational diabetes test today. So at about 26 weeks of pregnancy, they have you do this test. Normally, like old school way, is they have you get this drink, like a special drink. You drink it before you go in. Actually, I just realized I can't eat a bagel. Just kidding, I can't eat, so never mind. <laughs> but anyway, um, then you go in and whatever. So they test you to make sure that you're reacting to sugars and your blood sugar is good and all of that during pregnancy. But my doctor actually has you go in and when you're there, you drink a soda, like an actual soda. You wait an hour and then they test you. You guys, I haven't had a soda in over 10 years. Like not a real soda, like a Coca-Cola. Like I've had my poppies and those things that have like no sugar in them, like a real soda. Ugh, terrified. I'm glad I thought about it before I actually ate the bagel. <laughs> but in my head I was like, oh, if I'm gonna drink a soda, I should probably have something in my stomach. But the whole point is to not, so they can see how your blood sugar reacts. But at least I, I caught myself. I caught myself. <sighs> okay, let's do it. I just pulled up and parked. I'm about to go in. But it's so funny because the last couple weeks I've been like, hey, what soda am I going to drink? Like, I intentionally don't drink soda because, as you guys know, I've done videos about this. Like, it is just insane amounts of sugar and chemicals and unnecessary and just not my jam. But, like, if I'm going to drink one, I want it to be really good. I don't know. I've like thought about orange, like orange crush. But then as I pulled in, I realized I have no idea what options they even have. Maybe they just have one. They're like, drink it. We'll see. And I'm over here thinking I'm going to have like a whole vending machine of every type of soda that's ever been created. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight. I didn't know we were gonna actually get to listen to baby today, so I had to change because I'm in a romper. Okay, so I didn't know I was even seeing my doctor today. I thought I was just doing the drink and the blood work, so I'm glad I got to see him. He was gonna try to do a little ultrasound, but the machine wasn't working, so we just listened to LVD's heartbeat, which is perfect and strong. He said everything's looking good, growing well, all that. So now I just have to go back and wait for about 30, 45 more minutes. Then they'll draw my blood, and then they'll call me this afternoon and let me know if I pass the sugar test or not. We'll see. Also, I got all the information. I have to pre-register at the hospital, get all that stuff, find a pediatrician, like, Shit's getting real, you guys. Like, real, real. I just had to come out of the waiting room for a second. I'm starting to feel kind of nauseous. I just don't think I'm used to that much sugar. Especially, like, first in the morning on an empty stomach. I know some people wake up and drink sugary coffee or sugary sodas or anything else, but, like, I don't. I don't ever have that much sugar, just in general. I just feel like, ugh, ew. I wanna eat. It's done. <laughs> um, ugh, I feel gross. I like, we can't do sugar like that, you guys. It's not okay. So I'm gonna go home and now I'll eat a bagel. I'll make some eggs and stuff. Have some breakfast. And then I have um, my pelvic floor therapy session, the virtual session with Dr. Angie at like one today. So I'll show you guys some of that. We're in the office this afternoon. I don't even know right now, like literally one track mind, like I need food. You guys, I'm like shaking. <laughs> And sweaty. This is not okay. I need to eat so bad. I stopped really quickly because I was like, I just, I'm on my way. I'm not usually this direction. So I stopped and got some new towels and a bath mat for the guest bath slash LBD's bath now that there's a pretty bath in there and everything. Um, so I'm going to put that in, but I'm, I, I have to eat first. Like, I. <sighs> you guys, this is very weird. I don't like it. So one appointment. I told Ryan he didn't have to come to He's here. because it was just this glucose test, whatever. But like, I like, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm legit shaking right now. It's not good. Never, you never. I'm make unwell. Sugar at all. I'll show you no sugar. No, I need to help me make food. Love <laughs> I hope this doesn't mean I have an issue. I don't know how I could because I don't ever have sugar. But like, I'm not sure how that works. It's I'm like sugar drunk. Is that a thing? I mean, <laughs> when you drink like pina coladas and stuff, I feel like the sugar hits That's you the true. hardest. That's true. Well, know? then it's like, yeah, just like cause how it impacts I your mean, body. Katie hasn't had a pina colada in probably 15 years, <laughs> but. <laughs> it's true. 
Now I want a virgin one. <laughs> a healthy virgin. If they're, gonna do, if they're gonna do this to you, the least they could do is make it a pina colada or something. I know, but I told you, I was so excited. Like I was. It wasn't like orange soda? No, I didn't even get to choose anything. It literally was like what I thought, originally I thought was what it was, where they just give you this like gross sugar water orange drink. Right. That's what it was. She just handed me a little bottle and said, drink it. Mm. I would have brought, there's, so I know that there's like alternatives you can get that are like cleaner. There's like all these things. Like I've heard other girls be like, oh, you don't have to drink the thing, which I would have researched and done the work, but I was kind of like, well, if I'm ever going to drink a soda, this is my time. He's probably in there like, whoa, because every time Katie has a little bit of something sweet, it's moving. Yeah. It's moving. Mm -hmm. so he was, doing he was going crazy, but now he's hungry. So we're gonna eat. <laughs> I'm eating a breakfast appetizer. Like, I, I can't wait for the bagel even. So many three wishes. I feel like I have like a, a body sweat. Is that more sugar? I, I just need something. Yeah, definitely. I need like fat. Like a spoon, ooh, peanut butter. That's what I need. I'm gonna make eggs. But I'm gonna eat a spoonful of peanut butter. In the meantime, this is not the spoon for this. It's plastic. It's fine. Shit. Oh, that was so good. I don't know how people... Well, I do because I used to be this person. I'd put like this much sugary creamer in my coffees and stuff, but like... Oh, no. Trash bag. Oh, no. Oh. Ah! A handful of eggs. Um, hold that thought. Emergency. Thank you. This is why we need our little um, composter. Oh, yeah. Compost situation. Okay, what I was saying was I used to drink like super sugary coffee and stuff, but now, like, because I don't, obviously, I don't know how people wake up and just put so much sugar in their body. Horrible. So my PT got canceled today, which is fine. I literally just sat on the couch for like 45 minutes and couldn't move. Ryan went into the office. It was, it's our office day. I was supposed to go into the office, but like I just couldn't. Like talk about sugar crash, you guys. I mean, I haven't experienced anything like that in so long. And I feel like it's just such a good reminder why I don't eat a lot of sugar. Because that's what happens to your body. Anyway, um, I'm gonna try to actually take like a nap nap because I was on the couch like trying to get some work done and everything, but like I just still feel like I need more rest. So luckily Ryan could go into the office. I'm just gonna stay home and try to recover from this ridiculousness. Okay, <laughs> I just got up and I'm gonna try to do some work around the house, try to do some work on the computer and not be a lazy sleepy head all day. I feel a little bit more like a normal human now. That's a good thing. We're back, sort of. These are the days that are hard, like hard to feel motivated to work out, but it's like where I just rely on my discipline and I know I'm gonna feel better afterwards. I'm just still so tired and like just feel like that wrecked me this morning. I guess I'm glad it wasn't a soda. I don't know what's worse, what I drank or a soda. I have no idea how much sugar was actually in that thing, but either way it would have been rough probably, so. It's fine, but I'm gonna do my arms and abs workout, get some cardio in, either just like on the treadmill or go for a walk or something. But in the app, I have arms and abs today. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing a little differently for my abs today because I've been doing the pelvic floor therapy. So I'm trying to really focus on that for these couple of weeks and worry less about like traditional ab exercises. Beauty queens with 
I've talked a lot about how like, especially on Instagram and stuff, how really like people want pre and postnatal workouts, which is great. But just like normal workouts, it really depends on your fitness level and your personal pregnancy. So I've been able to still do box jumps and burpees and heavy weights and everything else this entire pregnancy minus that one week. But that's not necessarily true for everyone. And like, as I go through the pregnancy, those things might adjust and change. There's not like specific exercises that like you have to only do this or you can't do that, which makes it a little tricky to program. But my point being, this last couple of weeks, as I've been doing the pelvic floor therapy, I've been coming off of doing traditional ab exercises, even though they're perfectly safe in most cases for pregnancy and perfectly safe for me, even like side plank hip lifts and stuff, which are like a prenatal exercise that's good to do. My PT is having me not do them right now, just so I can really focus on my pelvic floor and getting that right. So some of the exercises I'm doing for that are like bridges, which are really great, obviously. But there's so many ways to work your abs that aren't actual ab exercises. Like, I freaking love deadlifts for abs. There's standing abs you can do, walking, obviously, knee raises, all of that. But I'm gonna show you guys the main exercise she has me doing right now that's like my ab specific workout, and it's so random. Keep ignoring my messy garage. So it's gonna be a little hard to see because I'm in black, obviously, but essentially what she has me doing is basically the opposite of how I've been trained my entire life, especially in personal training and yoga, to breathe. So most of that breathing is always like filling up your entire belly and then contracting and compressing your belly button toward the spine as you exhale and the focus really being on this lower region and even like, sorry there's sparks, even like compression of the ribs. But essentially this breathing, the whole point is to help decompress your pelvic floor and lift everything up so that your organs and everything are in their correct place so it really all comes down to posture but for this breathing it's actually one of the hardest things i've ever done but you basically you can like put your hands on your belly to feel it so you want your feet like hip distance apart a little bend in your knee your shoulders at neutral so you're not standing with your chest out like not like this that's not like ideal posture and we're not rounding just like Nice neutral, chin tucks in, lifting the crown of the head up nice and tall. And then when you inhale, you the whole goal is you don't want your belly to move at all. So you just have to fill up your rib cage. So you wanna feel your rib cage expanding and your belly not moving. I feel my belly move a little bit. It's like the focus and concentration is so hard. And then when you exhale, same thing. So normally when I exhale, my belly pushes in. Like I always am like contracting that way, but you want your belly just not to move. All the exhale is like just the ribs, you're finding more space. So you're not compressing your ribs in, but like they're just relaxing. And then you like fill it all up. And the exhaling is the hardest part because my stomach wants to move so bad. But like you're gonna feel in all those intercostals, all the little like muscles and everything in between the ribs. And again, it's about expanding and making that space. So this is stuff, it's not just for pregnancy, you guys. Like it's really good for anyone, especially if you ever feel like I am so fit, I barely have even like any fat on my body, but I feel like I have this pooch here. Practicing this breathing can help bring everything in where it needs to go. Again, because it's about that alignment, so. Anyway, that's my ab exercise for today. I'm gonna do that for a couple of minutes and just really focus on it because it's really hard. I just showered, I'm oiled up, oiled the belly, did all the things. I definitely feel so much better now. I think working out too just helped get all of that sugar out of my system. But now I just wanna eat dinner and I'm just kinda like spent for the day. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I don't even know what I did today. I feel like I vlogged drunk, but I wasn't drunk, so. We'll see. Hopefully you guys like this random day of vlogging and appointments and sugar craziness. I passed you guys. I had to give you an update because I hadn't finished editing this video yet and it just came through and I passed with flying colors. Like, so I don't know what it all means exactly, but you could have up to like 140 and still pass. And I had 82 because I don't eat sugar ever. So my body is fine, but I finally feel fully recovered. 
today is the next day obviously and feel good and just normal and yesterday was so freaking weird i've never i'm no i'm sure i have felt that weird before but just not in so long and like i said like i felt drunk and not in a fun good way at all it was terrible but we're good and i passed and i don't have to do it again and i am so happy next week we actually have someone coming to the house to do a at home ultrasound like a 4d one and having our parents over because we haven't been able to film any of the ultrasound stuff in the hospital or like at the doctor's office because of privacy things, whatever. So we're gonna do it at home. So I cannot freaking wait to share that one with you guys. Yeah.